Hey, Knights of Horror. H H N speculation. I know. Uh, okay, just wanted to say hi. But, yep. Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> what down my boat? What is going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today? Welcome back to another HHN speculation. Now, I know, another cold start, um, cold opening, and I have fun doing those, uh, me and clone me. But um, we are here to speculate some more potential properties maybe coming to the event this year. Now, HHN is notorious for bringing a lot of the iconic movies or legends, myths, um, original properties to life. and it is my job to try to figure out what those are going to be every year. Whether it be a movie, a myth, a legend, an original property, no matter the cost, no matter what it is, it's my job to try to figure it out. And I have three more speculations that I uh, were having brewed around as I was uh, seeing new stuff, new trailers, new announcements for movies and stuff like that. We are about a month away, a month or two away from Monster Palooza. So Monster Palooza, we're gonna see our, I think our very first HHN panel of the year. Uh, and last year we did get an announcement. The announcement was uh, Holidays from Hell, the scare zone that was in the uh, Metro sets last year for HHN 2018. A very good scare zone in my opinion, very well put together. I really enjoyed the scare zone and had a lot of fun with it. But we are gonna see this year um, hopefully some new properties, a lot more, uh, uh, some new movies, some new originals, hopefully. But uh, let's see what we have with my predictions for this uh, year of 2019. First maze I want to start predicting is Zombieland Double Tap. Now, this just got announced uh, about a week ago as of this recording. And I have to say I am very much looking forward to the much anticipated sequel to Zombieland. So... It would make sense if Zombieland Double Tap is coming out this year that they would make it into a maze. If not, they would turn the first one into a maze. Um, just to hype the fans up. Now, Zombieland is a comedy slash horror movie about zombies taking over the world. Um, and there's only a group of survivors left in the world who are trying to just survive. Uh, this is Zombie Apocalypse. It is, however, your typical zombie movie, but with a somewhat of a twist. They have creative kills. The uh, chemistry between the characters is really funny. The characters themselves are very funny. Their backstories are interesting and stuff like that. And I think Zombieland would just fit perfectly at Universal Studios uh, Hollywood and Orlando as well. So this is why I think uh, Zombieland may be coming to the event, only because to promote the new Zombieland Double Tap movie. The next, um, for say, movie on my agenda is The Curse of La Llorona. Now we've had La Llorona in the past and it was an incredible maze really enjoyed it and I would love to see her make a return um, I think it would make a good addition especially to promote the new movie coming out by James Wan um, and it looks pretty good we've only gotten the one teaser that showed that one scene of her in the car and stuff like that so if they were to bring that movie to life I think it'd do really good it is a Warner Brothers property however so we might see it more on the line of horror made here but that's for another video for another day and the last speculation I'm going to be speculating for 2019 is Pet Cemetery. Now the remake of Stephen King's terrifying novel Pet Cemetery is coming to theaters this year, and I would love to see a reimagining, um, a retelling of the story uh, in maze form. Now we've never seen I think Stephen King properties at the event yet, which is pretty interesting to me. But we have seen a Stephen King property at Horror Made here again for another video. But for the time being, we're going to be talking about HHN 2019. Now, Pet Cemetery I think would make a very good maze because of the fact of the both paranormal aspect of the movie and the, of course, uh, you know, it's got its moments where it's scary and stuff like that. So I think it'd be a perfect fit for HHN 2019. On top of that, it'd get people hyped for the movie and, um, or if the movie comes out, yeah, the movie's gonna come out first, so it'd get hyped for the people to buy it on DVD or just to rewatch it and stuff like that. Um, the good thing about HHN is they're a very good marketing platform as well, because if you, um, if you're like me, uh, you know, and every year you find out that one of these mazes is like a movie or something like that, 
you're gonna go out and watch it just so you can see what scenes are potentially gonna be in the maze and stuff like that and what you do want to see in the maze so it's a good marketing platform for the movies and stuff like that and I feel that it's gonna be pretty good um, if they were to bring it to life so that is gonna do it this week for an HHN 2019 speculation I will be back uh, in a month or so with another one because I don't want to overdo them, but I want to wait till they start announcing stuff so then we can speculate from there. And maybe when the League lineup comes out, I want to see what that's like. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.